Oh, hey, would you want to learn how to make these amazing, amazing protein shake recipes? You're in luck. Keep watching because I'm going to show you how to make the berry-tastic delight. It's so good. We got a beautiful pumpkin pie and, oh, the one I couldn't help but not drink, chocolate peanut butter. All right, are you ready for your first protein shake recipe? This one's awesome. Actually, it's perfect for summer. It's getting warm here in Wisconsin. I'm ready for it. It is called the berry-tastic mm, one cup overheating of ice. One cup of milk. Now I'm using an almond coconut milk mix. You can use whatever, right? Maybe regular milk, maybe almond milk, coconut, oat milk. I don't care, but milk of some kind makes it creamier. We're gonna add in our berries, half a frozen banana. So what I do is I take a banana, I split it into quarters, put it in a plastic bag, keep it in the freezer. There's a pro tip for you. Freeze the bananas. Helps it, right? You need a little less uh, ice cubes. Blueberries, raspberries, and strawberries in here. They're all fresh, but they could be frozen. That's up to you. We're gonna dump that in there. And now the main ingredient, and that is real power life. That's right. This stuff's awesome. Need to check this out. So power life, we are on the plant protein vanilla flavor. They do have whey protein as well, but whatever. We're going with the plant protein today. Half a cup ish of water. We're just gonna add a little splash. We might add a little bit as it goes on as needed. Ooh, yeah, baby. Look at that. Mm, mm -hmm. Oh, yeah. I hope you're ready for the next one because we're going to fast forward a little bit to more of a fall flavor for all of us, and that is pumpkin pie. We're going to make it healthy. We are going to do a pumpkin pie protein shake. Here's what you need. One cup of ice. Boom. Half of a banana. So we're going to put that in there. Boom. We're going to add one cup of milk in there. Adds a creamy texture. Now we need pumpkin. And you'll want about two-ish tablespoons. Um, I like pumpkin flavor, so we are going to do, so maybe that's more like three. Then, pumpkin pie spice. So we're just going to shake it a couple times, say, hey, that looks like about a teaspoon. And then, I personally like cloves. So I'm adding just a little bit of cloves in there. Just real, like two shakes, you don't need much. Cinnamon, so just a, a dash of cinnamon in there, boom, there we go. And we can't forget our protein. Again, power life. Plant protein, vanilla flavor. We have a discount in the comments below or in the description below. Check it out, get your discount so you can try Power Life. Why not, right? It's delicious, it's good for you. I love it. Okay, so let's put this on. Blend it up. Oh, it's creamy, delicious. It's like vanilla pumpkin pie party in my mouth. For your third and final protein shake recipe, I'm sharing you one of my absolute favorites, absolute favorite shakes of all time, and that is chocolate peanut butter. So let's make this sucker, all right? Here's what you need. You need a cup of ice. Sounded kind of familiar, isn't it? You want frozen bananas. I have a half a banana. They don't have to be frozen, but they're good. Then a cup of milk. Now this protein's different than the other two recipes. The other ones used vanilla. Now obviously we're using Chocolate. Now we are using Power Life by Tony Horton's high impact whey protein, chocolate whey protein, but they do have a chocolate vegan flavor, a plant based one as well. Now for the peanut butter. There's this uh, PB Fit stuff, which is great. They take a lot of the fat away, it's less calories by a lot. But I've noticed when I use it, it makes it a little grainier. Obviously, it's another powder you're adding, but it's not the same as peanut butter. So if you can get real peanut butter, that's awesome. Or make your own peanut butter, cool. I personally like the natural stuff. You want about two tablespoons, all right? You can use less, you can use more, but know that obviously with all peanut butter, it's a high calorie item. So let's blend it up. Now I will say this. I did add a little bit of water just to make it a little more liquidy, just so you know. Check that out. Boom! Oh. Ow, no. Delicious! These are my three favorite protein shake recipes. I appreciate all of you watching. Let me know your favorite shake recipe in the comments below. And heck, give Power Life a shot. You are awesome, you are amazing, and until next time, oh, I'm gonna drink these babies up and we'll catch y'all later. Mm. Oh my God, yeah.